guys welcome to my channel welcome to my video if you're new to my channel hi welcome i hope you consider subscribing there is a subscribe button right down there next to it you will find a bell if you ding that bell and choose all you will be notified whenever i put up a new video and if you're back hi friends welcome back i hope you know how much i appreciate you being here and all of you please don't forget to hit that thumbs up that like button it really does help a lot so yeah thank you so today we're doing a stash video we're doing a video with my stash of pens yeah i don't have a lot but um it's basically what i need so i remember when i started diamond painting i was like you know what i'm a good i don't need a whole lot of um what are they called hand turned pens i'm sorry i just lost my, lost my train of thought i don't need one i mean no they're expensive and you know then i got one and i was like good that's it you know you only need one pen i mean hello right and um now i have what how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen no what twelve hand turn pens two that are bought off of amazon or aliexpress and then th these three up here are resin pores from a sweet friend but let's let's start from an end okay so this very first one here i bought this off of um aliexpress because you know the thin ones that came with that comes with the kit were hurting my hands so i was like okay i need a little a pen that's a little thicker you know see how it fit in my hand and I, I like pink and I like the the swirls and the different pinks, you know, and um, yeah, so I bought this. So this is my first non-kit pen that I bought, okay? That is, I can't even rem remember when I bought it. So my next pen, this one, I love it. Look at that chunky glitter in it. This one I bought off of the German um, Amazon. And this is a cat eared pen. I bought it because I wanted to try place more than one drill at a time. And I, at that time, thought, you know, two drills is fine. And I bought the some of the cat eared single placers. This is one of them. I have them in a few of my other pens. Um, but even, you know, just placing two drills, you can see how thick this is, right? It didn't work. It did not work for me. But I love the pen, so maybe I should just, you know, switch out the, 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 the multi-placer because it's actually pretty and it is nice and thin as I like it. So maybe I should just use it some more and switch out the the placers but yeah pretty pretty pen my very first custom pen is this one it is from C Tours they come from France and this is they they do this um Facebook draws in the Facebook group I will link these pens down below I will see if I can find that Amazon one um for you i will see if i can and link that one as well so the shops i will link so yeah this this he he draws on his facebook page he still does it i see them every now and then this is a cinnamon pen you see all these swirls those are cinnamons and it smells beautiful even this is about two two years old by now and i I still get the whiffs of cinnamon even now just holding it. Isn't it? Look at that. These swirls of cinnamon. And then you have the cones. It is beautiful. The only issue that I have is that it's 
too thick. I mean, I can work with it, but it isn't as comfortable as some of my other pens. But it is beautiful. I mean, look at the pinks and the purples. And then we have some lighter purples. I love it. And I love the smell. So that was my first hand-turned pen. And this is the draw for a right to purchase. You don't win the pen. You don't get them. This is a right to purchase. The next pen is this one with some, I don't know if it's a loofah or whatever it's in it. And it is pink and purple. Do we sense a theme? Yeah? No? And this is also from Simply Boatwas. It's a little thinner. Um, and I, I actually like working with this one. I need, I need to switch out my pens more. I tend to work with the same, you know, four or so. But yeah, this was my second pen. And this was also a right to purchase draw on Facebook. Oh, look, it has the baseball bat. I didn't even notice that. Well, at least at the one end. Then this one, this is a coffee pen. Sadly, I dropped it, so it broke, and I tried to glue it together, which didn't succeed very well, but it functions. This is, this one I purchased off of his Etsy shop. This is a coffee pen, and um, it doesn't really smell like coffee anymore, which is a shame because I loved it. This This one came in two sizes chunky and thin and this is the thin one and it's perfect in my hand i don't dare put in a a multi-placer because i'm afraid that it'll break again but um yeah i love it it's kind of sad that it's it lost its smell because oh when i got it but yeah it's also you know, a little to the shorter side. I love, when I diamond paint, I basically do it like this, you know. When I need the single placer, I do it like this. Then I need my multi-placer and I turn it around. I just flip it in my hand. But And I really, really like the coffee beans in it. And it is a little, you know, there is a little um, imperfections because of the coffee beans. But I really like it. I also think I had in this one, hang on, uh, usually I, I felt it. There is somewhere where the loofah sticks out. I tried to change it. Oh yeah, right there. Do you see it? Yep. That is the loofah inside. But yeah. So that is my... Simply bought tour pens, three of those. Next shop is North Alchemist. I got these three pens. And North Alchemist is a Danish turner. And um, I heard of him in some YouTube channel, I can't remember. And this one was my very first one. It, I can't remember if it used to be all white, but it's... <clears throat> Sorry, it has yellowed a little, which fine by me. It looks like it's, you know, marbled a little. And then you have the different swirls of lighter purple up in darker purple. And then you have some glitter in it. It is so beautiful. This is supposed to be one of his thin pens. And, um, yeah, I mean... I use this a lot, so, <laughs> I mean, it, it fits okay, it isn't, we don't necessarily agree on what a thin pen is, but I love it, and um, he is one of my favorite turners, he absolutely is, his name is Jonas, you would call him Jonas, but he's Danish, so I call him by the Danish name, and um, yeah, beautiful. That was my first pen from North Alchemist. Then this is the next. This is a little shorter, as you can see. Um, and again, I fell for the colors. Pink 
up to gray, dark, dark gray. And then you have the silver glitter, silver sparkle in it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's when you move them around, it looks almost alive. Look at this area where you have the colors mixed really well. So yeah, that was my second pen from him. Pretty, pretty. Then, this is my latest pen from him. I have always wanted to try one of those honeycomb pens. But I've never been lucky. And then he uh, showed a, a some, some blanks that he had turned and a turned port. Um, and I fell in love with this blank number. I think it was blank number three. Um, because you had the resin on both sides of it. So, you know, I asked him and I asked him to make a thin pen. And again, we don't necessarily agree on what a thin pen is. Because I would have wished it was a little thinner all the way up. But it's fine. And I got my, my fat honeycomb pen. And I love the colors. Even though there isn't pink or purple, you know, the, the resin part, not the, uh, what is that, 3D printed? I don't know, maybe. But look at those colors, the blue and, and the dark, dark orange and some greens. And then you have a little bit of yellow in it. I really, really, and there is, um, it's kind of iridescent, the colors, because there is glitter in the colors. So you get all the glare. I well, can't see it like that. Anyway. And this is a favorite, too. I'm just, this is also a cat-eared single placer. And this is single placer, if multi-placers I got off of, um... AliExpress, see how big they are. I need to to get some more placers so that I I have all my favorites. But this is my third project handmade. Project handmade. I'm sorry. This is I was just been knitting, so I'm somewhere else. My my North Alchemist pen. Then we come to the company where I have the most. And don't run away. This is from Enablers Outpost, these five. So, hang on. My first Enablers Outpost pen was this one. This is a pen that I traded with Edward, the turner over at Enablers Outpost. We did a trade. He would uh, give me a pen and I knitted him a Harry Potter Gryffindor scarf and um, yeah and I got to choose which pen I wanted I wanted um, I saw the another pen like this and I asked you know do you have another blank and uh, they found one at first they said no we don't have one and then they found one and um, he made me this and I love it again pink and then you have the green and the clear and the the white and it's a sparkly, yeah. It isn't 100% thin, but I love it and I have used it and have used it a lot. So yeah, this is this was my first Enablers Outpost. In that same shipment, Edward had started to make these mini pens, like really mini pens. Sadly, this one has lost its ability, but this one can change its color. Let's see if I can get the pink one. This one is just a regular non-color changing. To me, it looks like a sunset or a sunrise. And I've used this one a lot. And um, you see it's turning a little lighter. Let's see over here. Let's put it over here. But this, again, I love it because it's so easy to just turn around in my hand and then and it isn't too short because I usually hold very low so I mean I don't have issues with it being so short it fits in my in my little hand so yeah these two I bought 
uh, back when they needed funding for Maui. Yeah, you see this one's got lighter. Up here, it's supposed to be purple, but for some reason, it lost the color, which it's fine by me. I mean, it's okay. But I bought these to support Maui. And then these two, I bought... I can't remember when I bought them. But these is from the Alphonse Mucha Gemstone Collection. And uh, this one <clears throat> is the Amethyst. And if you remember, last summer I did Amethyst from uh, Alphonse Mucha and Enables Outpost. So, of course, I had to, to have the pen. And again, look, glitter and chunky glitter. It's purple. I just love it and this is absolutely one of my favorite favorite pens because it's so thin it fits like a glove in my hand i mean i love that it is so thin then this one is the uh god what's the name of it ruby i just forgot the ruby one no Right, it's Ruby. I think it's Ruby. Anywho, someone will correct me if it's wrong. You also have the glitter. It's not the fine glitter. It's not the chunky glitter. But again, it's beautiful. And it's also nice and thin. It's a little thicker than the Amethyst one. But it's still amazing. And I love he turned these two at the same time. And they're different. Which I love that he made those different. It's the same with these mini pens. They're also different, even though, you know. I don't think I have any pens that are turned the same. Stay. So yeah, these two was my latest purchase from Enablers Outpost. The last hand-turned pen I got is a gift that I got from Leanne, our very own Diamonds and Doxies. This is a Leopard Leatherworks pen. And I mean, colors. By now you ought to know that I like pink and purple and red. And um, yeah, look at that. That's gold glitter and then you have some silver glitter it looks like and the swirls of different purples and you have some white i just love it i mean this is has this has very very fast become one of my very favorite pens and i'm kind of sad that i can't just order a bunch of pens because i would love to but yeah so this is the pens that I bought or are hand turned. Then we have this amazing woman in our community. Her channel name is Pencil Surprises, Sharon. And she gifted me some pens that she poured in resin. The first ones I got was these two. And look at that. It's light pink with chunky glitter in it. It's it is a square and you need to find, you know, the right way to hold it. But it's actually really comfortable, even though it's not round. You can't put in multi-placers because she has this tassel at the end. But, you know, I think at the time I got these, I was mostly single placing. So, yeah, that's the pink one. And then I have this totally purple glitter one. And I, yeah, you, you, you get it by now, right? Pink and purple. <laughs> and the, um, the single placers I embedded into the resin so you can't remove them, which is fine. I mean, yeah. And again, no multi-placers because tassel. I will link her channel down below as well. And then she started making palm placers. Um, so she sent this one to me. It looks like, in my mind, it looks like a, um, oh, what are they called? You know, that, that 
fortune tellers have it's a um hang on it's gonna come to me in a second uh something with a ball anyway you know what i mean it has this little base and then you have the crystal ball oh my god i'm sorry brain so to me it looks like a crystal ball and again you have the the single placer embedded i think it's embedded anyway or she glued it in i can't remember and then you just place it hold it like like this and you place it um i used it several times um oh look there's a cat here in the old it's an older glue that i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah i kind of like it and i love the colors together there is a yellow glitter in there that's funny but yeah and again because of the glitter in it it is impossible to make it perfect but it is very comfortable to hold and i'm sorry for my nails but yeah this is a palm placer that sharon also did stay thank you sorry, i need to get rid of that glue that <laughs> so this is my pens i know my stash isn't the biggest but it's what i need right now maybe maybe later i will get some more pens from from um leopard leather works because i really like those but i mean how many pens do you really need right i mean for the longest time when i've been diamond painting the pens that i have had laying out are these fours these are the ones that i have been using for quite a while by now and this one is mostly used for ab's because the glue dot is really non-sticky really it isn't very strong anymore and then these are just you know as i see fit <laughs> so these are the ones that i used mostly and i maybe now that i have them all out i should just switch out a little there you go but yeah these are my pens i hope you like this video i enjoyed doing it and if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to ask i will put the links down below and um yeah don't forget to hit that like button again if you have any suggestions to videos you want to see please write them down below and um i will see you in my next video and um yeah see you everybody bye i love you take care bye